Okay, so our first major topic area is problems with constant acceleration in one dimension. So for this, I've come up with a little example, the famous example of the tortoise and the hare. And we're going to see who's going to win this race. So it's a 100 meter race. Okay, and the setup is that the uh, tortoise here has a 99 meter head start. So, and he's traveling at a constant speed now. So he's not accelerating. He's reached his top speed, which is at 0.05 meters per second, about 5 centimeters a second. That would be a speed, you know, something along the, the pace that my pen is traveling here now. And he's only got one meter to go. On the other hand, on the far end of the field, we have the hare. The hare is going to start off at rest and then is going to take off like a shot. His acceleration is going to be 20 meters per second squared which is about uh, 2g, right, 2 gravity accelerations, quite uh, fast uh, acceleration. He though does have a top speed and I'm going to say that his top speed is actually 20 meters per second. So I should maybe um, top speed, make a note, top speed is uh, 20 meters per second. So he's going to take off from rest, accelerate at 20 meters per second squared, until he reaches his top speed of 20 meters per second, and then he's going to continue at that pace down the field towards the uh, finish line, all the while with the tortoise traveling at this relatively low speed. And the question then is going to be, of course, well, who's going to win this, uh, this particular race? Now, as I had said, my uh, uh, basic strategy here is to first translate all of the basic facts and the statement of the problem into various algebraic statements, gather all that algebra together, and then go ahead and try to solve. So in this problem, we can see there are uh, various uh, points in the problem uh, where we uh, know various pieces of information. So at the start, we know that, for instance, the initial position of the uh, tortoise x of the tortoise, x initial of the tortoise, is at 99 meters. We know that the initial position, xi, of the hair is equal to uh, 0 meters. We also know, I guess, speaking of the tortoise, that the, uh, his velocity of the tortoise is uh, 0.05 meters per second. And we also know although it wasn't completely spelled out for us, we also happen to know that the acceleration of the tortoise, because he's traveling at a constant velocity, his acceleration then is actually equal to zero. Now the hare starts off initially uh, at the uh, start line at position of zero meters. It's not completely stated, but it's implied, and it's important to um, know what's being implied, that the velocity of the hair at the start there is actually zero because he's taking off from rest. And he also has an acceleration, acceleration of the hair, and that's been given known to us. That's a 20 meters per second squared. And these are usually the types of information you want to ask about each object. What is its initial position, velocity, and acceleration? Okay, now in this problem, it isn't just a straight problem, a straight race to the end. The acceleration is constant, <coughs> but it's only constant at this 20 meters per second squared until the hare reaches his top speed. So there's an intermediate point in addition to the starting point. And this intermediate point actually represents the ending point for the start phase. And it represents, uh, and this is what we know, I guess, at that intermediate point. At the intermediate point, uh, we know that the velocity of the hare now, after some amount of time from the starting gate, has now reached his 20 meters per second. And that's the initial velocity in the intermediate uh, phase. We don't know yet. <clears throat> the position of the hair, that would be something that we would have to try to figure out, his initial position. But we do know at least, so I'll put xih equals, we don't really know, 
But one thing that we certainly do know is we know the acceleration of the hair then after this intermediate point, uh, which is equal to zero because he's reached his top speed and he is no longer accelerating. In this phase also, we know the velocity of the tortoise, the initial velocity of the tortoise, which is the same as his final velocity because he's not changing his speed, 0.05 meters per second. We don't know the initial position of the tortoise in this phase, although that's something that ultimately we would want to figure out. And uh, again, the acceleration of the uh, tortoise is equal to zero. Now what about the end of the problem? Well, when we get to the end of the problem, what we know is that, well, there are different ways of looking at this. We want to know who was going to reach the 100-meter uh, line first. So there are really two different endpoints in this problem. There's the endpoint for the hair, right, which is uh, when the position of the hair equals 100 meters. And there's the endpoint for the tortoise. And that's when the position of the tortoise equals 100 meters. And the whole question is, well, now, which one of these happens first? So we would like to know wh which uh, occurs at the earlier time. 